Hey everybody, it's game time, and today we are ripping into some 2009 Top's Finest. I'm going to do a throwback Thursday. I guess I'll post this on Thursday <laughs> so that it can be a throwback Thursday. Um, I've been kind of eyeballing this every time I was shopping online for cards. I'm trying to find some stuff to, to break in this little kind of downtime while I'm waiting on Elite to come out and, uh, couple other things are about to hit the market so I'm trying not to spend a ton of money kind of building up to that stuff and this was priced pretty reasonably and truthfully to be honest with you I, I wasn't crazy about 2018 finest so that that got me thinking about what did the previous years look like and I could not remember what 2009 looked like and I was tempted to go on eBay and pull some up and look at them and I thought no I'm going to go ahead and buy this and be surprised. And so you guys may remember, or maybe you don't. If you don't, then you're about to find out with me. So this was a hobby-only product. And it does say, look for all-new autographed rookie patch cards in every six-pack mini box. Um, two six-pack mini boxes, five cards per pack. Got David Wright on here who everybody loved and I loved, but he, gosh, he just stays injured. He just doesn't play nearly enough. If he stayed healthy, he would definitely be one of the top stars in the game, I'm sure of it. I mean, people still love him even though he barely plays. I'm trying to remember who the rookies were in 2009. Was that David Wright's rookie year? I don't Maybe. Uh, I don't know. We're about to find out. Let's see who we get. I hope these look better than 2018. Seems like everybody right now. I, I'm kind of watching to see what's going to happen with the prices of 2018. 18 stuff now that Otani's injured. I'm glad I didn't overbuy it. I think a lot of people are now going to look back and see that they overpaid for a lot of the, I mean, but what are you going to do? Otani clearly seems to be the real deal and nobody could predict. But wow, if he misses not only the rest of the season, but all the next year too, surely the prices have to drop. Here's something you don't see very often anymore, a checklist. There's all the base cards to, oof, my fam. Look, the 101, no, 150. Uh, the rookies, wow. It does not look like a great rookie class at all. Actually, a lot of these names I do not recognize, which is not a good sign. Wow, that looks really weak. Well, check some of them. Let me see these. <laughs> rookie names it's pretty bad that kind of explains why this box is so affordable oh well let's we'll see if we get some good vet hit out of here then hopefully not too much rookie stuff wow that was brutal all right wow i must not have bought this because i have no recollection of that base card at all it's not bad. It's very symmetrical. Hmm. So, Orlando Hudson. Garrett Atkins with a ton of production lines and scratches on that card. Juan Miranda rookie card. Not a clue. A Brian Roberts blue refractor. Number two. What is that? $3.99 good looking card again kind of some stuff on there and Ryan Ludwig not the best first pack there's lots more to go although after reading that rookie class I don't have a lot of hope Brad Nelson 
Escobar rookie card. Okay, that's not bad. Brian Zimmerman, a Rich Harden refractor, not numbered, and Freddie Sandoval rookie. Looks like a jersey card here. Yep, something thick in there. Gilmesh, Alex Gordon, Francisco Liriano, ooh, and a Jonathan Neese. That is super sweet. I think that's supposed to be an autograph on there. I feel pretty confident. Let's see. Yep, you have just received an autographed letter patch of Jonathan Neese. Well, I love that it's the Mets. It's numbered to 285, and that is just a really good-looking card. That is really nice. Yeah, I am down with that. That's cool. Very cool. And last card was Kevin Euclid. Yeah, I'm really glad that was the Mets. I love the Mets and the Dodgers. Coast to coast. Hunter Pence. Is that Grinky? Matt Holiday. A oh yeah. Dice K. What am I saying? Is that what they call him? Dice K. Dice K, is that right? Is that the right nickname? Somebody remind me. Three ninety nine. Nice blue refractor. Dice K, that's gonna drive me nuts until I look it up. Ellsbury. Carlos Beltran. Ramon Ramirez, rookie card. Don't know. Adam Jones, a Hanley Ramirez refractor. Not bad. And John Jaso, rookie card. I do know him. Joey Votto, Dustin Pedroia, David DeJesus, a rookie redemption card which expired in 2010. There's the code. If anybody <laughs> That's a shame. Uh, Prince Fielder, green refractor to 99. So it's funny to see they've stayed consistent. The green refractor in 2018 was also numbered to 99. Cliff Lee. And that is it for mini box number one. Let's check out number two and see who we get. Yeah, I'm still digging that patch, although you can barely tell that it's autographed, so that's kind of weird. And I did expect to get that uh, rede rookie redemption card. I did read that. They made sure they made under people had people understand when they bought this that that was going to be part of the deal that you were going to get a redemption that you couldn't do anything with. Same checklist. Tua Sosopo, Tua Sosopo, rookie card, don't know, Dan Ugla, Escobar, a Carlos Beltran blue refractor to $3.99, oh, uh, Jose Reyes, another nice Mets player, who has also spent a lot of time injured, but Evan Longoria, Maglio Ordonez, John Lester, a Brandon Webb gold refractor to 50, and Hideki Matsui. Matsu. That gold's nice. I'll leave that down here. Brandon Webb, though. Not a big Brandon Webb fan, and he's one of the players who kind of has followed me around in the past. B.J. Upton, 
Felix Hernandez, Scott Lewis rookie card, Chipper Jones, yes. I love some Chipper action, $3.99. Back in the day, I did, since I was a Mets fan, I did not like Chipper Jones, but he really grew on me. He became very endearing over the years and became, you know, a symbol of a really good time in my life when my nights were spent, you know, sorting my cards and watching the Braves and the Mets play and um, living not that far from Atlanta. Lots of people here are Braves fans. And so I kind of, you know, hated Larry Wayne there for a while, but he grew on me and now I really, really like him. Roy Oswalt. My sister was a Braves fan. We used to argue. We went to a Braves Mets game and it was it was funny. Some of the fans, the uh, Braves fans, were pretty rude because my brother and I were wearing Mets shirts. Aramis Ramirez, Stephen Drew, Prince Fielder. Aramis Ramirez, Refractor, and Justin Upton. Two more packs. Oh, there's my other little patch. Curious to see who that is. Urban Santana, Jamie Moyer, Francisco Rodriguez, a Matt Holiday Refractor, and Brian McCann. The last pack, guys and gals. Hopefully gals are watching too. Dillman Young, Brandon Webb, Jimmy Rollins, David Price, not bad. Oh, and Aubrey Huff is the last card. So that's pretty sweet too. Looks like the jersey's about to come out of there at the bottom, but this is numbered to 285 as well. These are very nice. These are very sweet cards. Nope. MP. Nope. Again, the auto, you can read the autograph a little bit better. Let's see if I can get it in the right light on this. I mean, you can tell that they're signed, but it's kind of, I don't know, whatever. I love them. They're, these are really cool. I may end up hanging on, especially to this one. That is really sweet. So, this was fun. This was a fun little break. I thought it might be and took a chance, and it was. It absolutely was. Here's my other favorite refractors. Lots of refractors, lots of color, lots of numbers. If you get a chance to pick any of this up, you want to do a little retro break, I definitely recommend it. That was tons of fun. I'm going to be doing some more retro breaks. I saw that uh, Packer Cards, is it 69, 89, whatever. Anyway, I love that guy. And he's taking a little break from his retro breaks, so I thought I'd do some for fun. That's it. Um, let's see. I've got some Stars and Stripes hobby boxes coming up. I'm going to do a non-sport box for fun. I'm going to do another retro break of uh, some older Topps Heritage football in the future. So everybody stay tuned for that. Oh, and of course, the newest stuff, new products coming out. I'll have that as well. Everybody, please like and subscribe. Don't forget about the contest coming up. Got to be one of the top 100 subscribers to be entered. And that is all, my friends. Take care and have a great day.